Hey guys and girls, this is Justo Antonio uh, from Prof. Sanchez Collectibles A to Z eBay storefront and uh, welcome to Sanchez Saturdays, another uh, week of, uh, of uh, reviewing a perfume and this week I'm going with uh, with the house of Isi Miyaki, okay? Now this one is uh, Leo de Isi Poron Wood and Wood, Air de Parfum Intense and it uh, says here on the packaging a citrus woody the strength of wood okay and here's the how the bottle looks uh the bottle the cap is uh made of wood and the bottle of it uh, is more like most of the easy miyaki flankers okay except that this one instead of being a 4.2 ounce this one's a 3.3 100 milliliter uh air to perfume intense okay so we're gonna see how woody and woody this fragrance is okay um so let's get into this uh i tested this fragrance uh out yesterday okay oh i forgot that i used the bottles like this and the original packaging is like this okay but i decided to get the sample which is four or five dollars because uh I looked around and uh, retail this is like $98 and uh, right now fragrance net even with the 25% discount it's 60 plus and on eBay it's anywhere from 60 plus up you know so uh, it's always good to try these fragrances out before you blind buy or, 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 or buy the big bottle and then you don't like it okay so I decided to buy this sample since I like I like the easy Miyaki line I have the original Isi Miyaki uh, fragrance, this is this one, uh, great citrusy uh, aromatic fragrance, okay, uh, good over here for Puerto Rico, and I wanted to try this one here since it's a mix of citrus and woody fragrance and see how it is, okay, so I tested this fragrance out uh, yesterday, Friday, to get ready for this uh, Sancho Saturday, so I, I have a good notion of the dry down. Uh, let's do this live here for the opening. Okay. Almost ran out of the fragrance already. Uh, love, love the opening. It follows the same DNA as the uh, original Isi Miyaki uh, um, fragrance that I showed you a while ago that came out in the 90s. Very fresh citrusy scent, you know. Um, which is has to do with uh, the opening notes of uh, grapefruit uh, and uh, elemi, uh, which is a uh, sweet resiny that has a hint of uh, citrus in it. So that's prominent in the opening notes, that grapefruit, that elemi. Uh, it says cardamom in the top notes also, but really don't smell that i smell that fresh citrusy uh fragrance and the opening notes uh the mid notes of this fragrance has apricot and broxin virginian cedar and sandalwood okay and the base notes of uh this uh isiniyaki wood and wood are woody notes haitian vetiver and patchouli okay so what do you get in this fragrance well like i said the opening very similar DNA as most of the Isi Miyake light citrusy, fresh citrusy uh, opening, okay? Then as it goes drying down, uh, you start getting these woody notes, but this packaging says that the strength of wood, and it also says air to perfume intense, and I'm not feeling that, and I didn't feel that yesterday either when I tried it out. Uh, I put this fragrance on yesterday at 6 p.m. after I took a shower. It lasted me around four to six hours uh, of longevity. And then it became a skin scent, okay? Uh, the sillage is moderate, okay? I found it to be moderate. Uh, it came, became a close skin scent. But um, the funny thing about this fragrance is when I went to sleep and woke up the next morning at seven o'clock, uh, I still could smell that woody 
fragrance on my skin. You know, that skin scent was still there at, all night long after, you know, 12 hours. So I don't know if that's due to the ambroxin that's, that's uh, said it's in the mid notes it's an ambroxin because a lot of fragrances, uh, when they last that long, it's either ISO, ISO Super or, or, or ambroxin, which makes the longevity longer. So I probably have to attribute that to the ambroxin because I felt it in the morning when I woke up, okay? Now, if I had to summarize this fragrance in a, in a, in a, in a few words, I would say that this is a fresh, citrusy, light, woody, aromatic scent, okay? So it's a fresh, citrusy, that's the opening, and the light, woody aromatic scent will be the mid and the base notes, which are the Virginian cedar, the sandalwood, the woody notes, the very, very, and the patchouli. All right. Um, I didn't really find this very out of the ordinary. Um, there are many in male fragrance that have the same DNA in the mid notes and base notes uh, that are stronger woody. Than, than this one, okay? This one turned out, I thought it was gonna be a strong woody fragrance and it turned out to be a, a light woody fragrance. So, very pleasant though. So, my recommendation for this would be uh, office wear, because you're not gonna offend anyone and you're gonna smell good. Uh, daytime wear, uh, definitely this is a casual wear fragrance, uh, informal fragrance, okay? uh but it's versatile because it has that mix of citrusy fresh which is good for spring and summer but at the same time it has this woody base which would probably be good for fall uh i don't know if it would be great for the cold winter season but definitely fall okay so you could use it three out of four times in the season uh if you live in in tropical uh paradise like i do over here in the caribbean this will be all around season fragrance okay so uh that's my take on um the leo de easy for home wood and wood okay so uh did it live up to what it said here on the packaging a citrusy woody yes it's a citrusy woody did it live up to the strength of wood i will say no it's uh it's a light woody fragrance it's not even though it's packaged as an air to perfume intense and they try to market it as uh, wood and wood, you know, like it's woody, woody, woody fragrance. No, <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, it's not a, a strong woody fragrance. There are a lot of other fragrances out there in the market that are much woodier than this fragrance, okay? So that's my take on this fragrance. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel because every week I'm coming up with a new fragrance review and uh and i'd like you to join sanchez saturdays by subscribing and and, and right along with my uh, the journey because i have uh oh, this uh, new year's resolution this year that every saturday i am going to try to post okay be consistent and post every saturday so uh come along with me on the journey and i'll see you next saturday take care and peace